Hey you skellywags, today we're going to be finding out how much I spent on converting a Space Wolves Space Marine here, Eric Icefang from the first Space Wolves Hunter Pack, into this, my very first Joy Toy Space Wolves Custom. Shut up and sit down. You may be forgiven for thinking this tale tells the tragic fate of the Space Wolves Hunter Pack at the hands of Chaos. To defeat death, you must become it. To endure beyond all, you must submit. If you wish to be granted deliverance from your agony, you must surrender your soul. But this is the fall and rise of one who would ascend to Valhalla. All Father, you honor me by greeting me at the gates of Valhalla. I have but one request to avenge my fallen brothers. My son, your request is a noble one. Make it so, and our enemy shall feel the fangs of the wolf. Your request. Is granted. He would refuse entry to paradise only to roam the universe once again to avenge his fallen brothers. It's only recently that I've been getting into the lore of Warhammer 40k. So why choose the Space Wolves for my first custom? Tough Commander is a mate of mine, YouTube collaborator, and also has his own Instagram page. One day via his stories through IG, he shared his results for the Horus Heresy Warhammer 40k Choose Your Legion quiz. Having acquired Joy Toy's Death Company set a couple of months prior, I was convinced I lined with the Blood Angels. Uh, turns out I was wrong. So with this newfound information, I set forth before me the task of making my own Space Wolves custom. I've bought a few custom heads from eBay seller PKBA1577 and after filling out the Choose Your Legion quiz, I was happy to find that he had some Space Wolves custom parts. I'd found the perfect custom head to begin with and I thought I'd get some pauldrons, power pack, weapon, go all in, as the intention was only ever to do one custom. Space Marine. Then it dawned on me how much I'd actually be spending buying all these parts. Ouch. I decided to go for the head to begin with. And then one Space Marine to custom, and then a couple more just in case. And things got a bit out of hand. After buying some soft goods from Max Bird, I went for a few iterations and then stumbled across 3D Forge Craft in the UK where he was providing 3D printed parts that you can paint up and fit on your Space Marine which would lead to the final iteration we have today. After months of waiting, acquiring parts and deciding on a final look oh, by the way 
I'll be breaking down the cost of each element or figure to acquire a specific part. This is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I finally have my put together, oh, well, leave that off, Space Wolf with this axe, Logan Ghost Wolf axe with the magnet there that I put there, and two on this side. And this Korg from Marvel Universe um, shield. This head really kicked things off. The design of this made me really want to make my own custom Space Marine. This part here, this woolly part, is from Max Bird Cape, which covers the neck area. You can see here, I actually attached that and had to trim a bit off from another Space Marine so the head could fit. It's the hole there. So this head was the most expensive piece, I believe, out of any of the custom bits I had to take out. Even more expensive than some of the figures that I would have had to acquire for their specific part, i.e. Logan Gosworth for his axe, or later on, the mech for the hand. So I didn't want to have to use blue tack on this. Hence the reason I made this. Just pop it on like that. And then just hide a bit underneath with this nice little woolly piece. Which came with this bit. The cape bit from Max Bird. Which is a really nice piece. Comes with a load of extras. These cubic zirconia stones here, tiny red ones, I really like. They do sell out rather quickly though, because they're pretty cheap. If you look closely, I did one on that skull to mimic his head. This skull here came with the Max Bird set. This charm thing came from one of the other figures from the Hunter Pack. This, a chain from another cape from Max Bird. I've got the faux leather straps from my wife and the studs from a Hobbycraft store. These are just toothpicks cut up and uh, stuck on. I was really trying to mimic the teeth on this bit here. Kind of came out all right, not quite the same. But that came with the Max Bird cape too. And this huge hand came with the Snark Mech. There is a version on Eyelina, I believe you can get pilotless, so you can get it for a bit cheaper. This I dremeled in, and it managed to fit in quite nicely. Really glad that worked out. This pauldron is from, I think from the Claw Pack. I really liked the design of this specific pauldron. And over here we have the pauldron from 3D Forge Craft is a brilliant 3d printed piece i uh, painted myself not the best paint on there it'll do some more faux leather there with a, a blue stud on the hand don't think there's really much behind here just in case studs at the bottom of the feet there to give him that fabulous look and here we have the power pack I painted in different colors because I didn't want to have to match the blue or whatever it is gray magnets here I'll show how they work in a minute and I believe that covers it all oh besides the actual marine the first one I bought the Eric ice fang so putting together and adding up everything I bought individually that's some great British pounds and in dollars, as that seems to be the universal language, $373.31. Minus the custom parts in dollars, and I spent a bit over what I initially would have spent just getting the custom parts from PKBA1577. But it's all for entertainment and a lot of the stuff I had already, so didn't have to pay a thing. Just sacrifice that figure or accessory for the figure. 
Speaking of accessories, this is what I did with the magnets. You can store the shield there up or up here. There's two ways of doing it. That way is pretty good. This axe initially held in place like that, but was wobbly. So I thought, make two magnets. One, two, two magnets on the backpack. So there, a lot sturdier. And this can also still plug in there because of the magnet. Magnets galore. Storing weapons and stuff galore. And here's just a bit more. I wanted to be ready with the aesthetic to be close to that of Ragnar when he came out. And also the Lone Wolves a trade paperback graphic novel that I've been reading as that really opened up my eyes to what the Space Wolves could be. And so I started to work on a few more, including a Brother Gunner here, but not really wanting to spend so much on it, just really utilizing what's at hand. And I did utilize Eric Icefang's head. Also got another full Eric Icefang somewhere. And then just these two guys at the back. But I'll do a video on that when the time's right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will scale you later.